The recent tab. The place filled with many unexpected surprises and horrors beyond imagination. But today, I made this bingo board to play with. So anytime I see anything from the bingo board on a recent tab level, we get a mark. Five marks in a row, and we get a bingo. Let's see what the fabled recent tab has to offer us today. Hard by Elias Rel 1A5. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if this is actually hard or if it's clickbait. Okay. Okay. That was not hard, but you know what that was? A club step monster. Let's go. We already got the corner down. Big W's. We got something on the first level. So let's see what unnamed 14 by LJR7 has to offer us. Oh no, not the mirror portal. Okay. Wow, that's actually harder than the level called hard. Okay. Why is there invisible stuff? This is scaring me. What? Huh? How am I supposed to get past that? Hold the phone, folks. Uh, let's see how we get through. Don't tell me I have to bring this into practice mode, dog. All right, so if I go... Wait, I can just go above. So I want to beat this now. I want to beat this to truly determine if this is a secret way or not. Because if it is, that gives us a point. So let me just hold. One click. One click and I'm skipping all this gameplay. I don't need to do all of that. And I believe we did it. That's a secret way. Let's go. I will absolutely take that. Thank you, LJR7. I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's check this one out. War Thunder by... Me? War Thunder is a free-to-play, large-scale multiplayer action game featuring ground, air, and naval combat. The game is available on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Mac. This game has tons of awesome vehicles and maps to choose from. Each map is inspired by real-life locations from across the globe. You got deserts, forests, snow-covered mountains, and many other diverse landscapes and unique features that make every battle exciting. Most recently, the Kings of Battle update came out, which features the brand new Flanders map that changes depending on what vehicles you're playing with. If you're using tanks and planes from the World War II era, you're gonna find a massive airship in the center of the map, surrounded by tons of relics from that time period. But if you're more into modern warfare, you'll find a cargo plane instead, which is surrounded by cell towers and cars. And on top of that, the brand new legendary Black Hawk helicopters made its debut in the game. What a beaut! You're also able to customize each piece of machinery to your own liking with armor mods and paint jobs. The level of detail in this game is just incredible. Your vehicles interact with the terrain realistically. Like, look at how each blade of grass flattens as you ride over it. The interactive environment provides many opportunities for strategic attacks. And the best part is, you can download War Thunder for free by using my link in the description. All new players and those who haven't played War Thunder for half a year or more will receive some special bonuses. Rentals for the P-40E1 aircraft and M4 tank for a week, the special decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, three premium vehicles for free, a week of premium account, and even more gifts. Make sure to hurry up because the American vehicle bonus season will end soon. Thank you so much to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. And let's see what Impossible Nerf 2 by Zihama is. Okay. <laughs> wow, what a level. That was very eventful and interesting. Unfortunately, we don't get anything from that. So let's see Inevitability by Sir the Nerd. This is a long level. I wonder if this is like a real level. At the end of the level, there is a spike. You may think you can simply jump over this spike. No. What is this? Oh, I got some free coins. All right, wait, wait, wait. Those are free coins. Do I have to jump at the end? If I died at the end, I'm about to be so mad, bro. Please, 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 please. I swear to- ah! I should have known. Because why would the spike not jump over me, right? <laughs> the spike jumped over me. You made me waste a minute of my life. Well, on the bright side, this is a troll level, so we can mark that off. And I guess if I don't have to click for that spike at the end, that would technically make those coins it gave me free. But I want to make it so I can only get one bingo slot per level. This way I don't get one level that gives me like half the board. Because it's certainly possible. It's the recent tab. So I'm limiting it to one slot per level. And I think this one absolutely gets the title of troll level. Alright, I'm just not going to click. You gotta be kidding me. What am I doing wrong? I do click and I die and I don't click and I die. What am I supposed to do? Bro. Sir the nerd, you're a freaking nerd, bro. You got one diamond. That's why you got one diamond, bro. Get out of my face. Hold on, I gotta just make a copy of this level and see what's going on here. Dumbest level I've ever played. All right, so I went to the end of the level and there's a follow player Y trigger, which basically means this spike's gonna follow you up and down since it's group two on the Y axis. So I'm gonna put a start position to see like, is there like a strat to get past this? So if I jump, I die. Maybe I have to do like a, like a early jump. No, it's impossible. 
Man, I can tell you if EVW was playing this, he would be able to tell you that it's impossible. You're a freaking troll, bro. Screw you. But you gave me a bingo slot, so we're okay, sir, the nerd. Clock challenge two or Cole Sika. Oh no, straight fly? Okay. What is that? Please don't make me do that. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, bro. <laughs> that is freaking hard, but I kind of want to try it. All right, before we do that, I'm just gonna say I got straight fly, so W. But just because I feel like challenging myself, I'm gonna actually see if I can get past this wave. Lord only knows what's after this wave part, but hey, let's give it a try. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh wow, that took a while. I'm satisfied with what I've done. That was crazy hard. And we got straight fly. Wow. I spent way too long in that. The Nightmare Auto. Okay. Is this just the Nightmare but Auto? It would appear so. Which is good news because we can now cross off Auto on the bingo board. Thank you, American Nebula. Let's see. Unnamed. 5583947598798. Wow, a singular spike for that big old name. This dude made 55 googillion levels just to make a level with Stereo Madness the song in one spike. All I can say is good job, bro. Let's see Maze by Electra's GD. Wait a minute, if I get wave spam and scale hack, I can actually get a bingo pretty soon. <laughs> Why is the whole bottom of the board just not being touched this time? All right, Linux by Yo Near, Yo Near Really Data. Or data, whatever. Let's see what this is all about. We got a little clock. Oh, those those are platforms. I thought that was just like line art. You gotta make sure you uh, differentiate between those in your levels, otherwise people will get confused. Oh no, not the freaking backwards slope. That ah, that's sour. That's harsh. But wait, you know what? That's a good thing because look. We can do the broken hitbox thing. Because let me get back there real quick and I'll show you what I mean. So these two slopes right here actually have the same hitbox despite only part of this one being visible. So when you're building, it's easy to make a slope platform like this, but accidentally make them backwards. Which looks fine, but you die if you accidentally get too close, which is just unfair and a big mistake a lot of people make on accident. I look like I'm just going normally, but I'm actually hitting the invisible hitbox. Bloodbath with no spikes. Ooh, this might be good. This might be really good, guys. Oh my god. It's really just bloodbath with no spikes. Dude, it's like freaking naked bloodbath. I feel wrong looking at this. But the good thing is we get the bloodbath reference down in that right corner. Oh, this level is so cool, guys. I think I could honestly... I feel like I could beat this level one day. Because, I mean, I beat Stereo Extremeness. What's there to say I can't do bloodbath? Because bloodbath is easier than Stereo Extremeness, according to everybody who's played it. Hey, he lied! Those were spikes right there! But you know what? I ain't gonna get mad at Super Math Boy, because we got the Bloodbath reference, so that's a W. So let's see, spam! Ooh, what type of spam will it be? There's a lot of possibilities here, and I could get some bingos, you know what I'm saying? Oh, am I supposed to spam those or- wait, really? There's no way that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was supposed to do that. Alright, this is not spam at all. This right here is easy. This is a little harder. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I can do this. Nah, bro. I know I don't have to beat this, but I want to because that's just dumb, bro. Okay. Thank you. All right. I would not constitute this level as wave spam because that was literally easy. However, I would say that is some orb spam with that little robot part. So I'll cross off orb spam. And geez, in two different places, we're only two slots away from a bingo. But let's do <laughs> what? Mom challenge two by Blue Ice three four two. All right, mom challenge. Let's see what this has to offer. Can I manix the mom level with this one? Have you guys all seen that? One time, the Google Play official Twitter account on Mother's Day was randomly like, "Good job, you manixed the mom level." Like, I think they thought it was, like, some sort of, like, elaborate inside community Geometry Dash reference. But nobody understood what the heck they were talking about. Like, Manix was, like, an old player back then. Pretty good creator, too. Not that relevant. And there's no mom level. I, nobody knows what that means. Like, we need experts to decipher what the heck Google Play meant when they posted that. Because <laughs> it's so freaking funny. Unfortunately, there's nothing to get from this one. But that was quite funny. Mom Challenge 2. Man, I don't like these patterns. First, I get Mom Challenge. Now, Abandoned. Guys, is my mom gonna abandon me? Please, no. Okay, this is interesting. Oh my god! Wait, that's actually really cool. I like that club step monster right there. That's such a derpy guy. <laughs> that was cool. 
I already have the club set monster thing crossed off, but I still think that's really cool. Unfortunately, that didn't give us anything, but let's see what a trapped two is about. Okay. That looked a lot harder than it was. Well, let's see what the rest of the level is like. Okay. Wow, this is fast. This is speedy. This is very speedy. Okay, speed, speed. Go up with the ball, down, up. Okay, stay in the middle. Oh. What is this clown awe song and why did I die? Well, if there's one thing I can guarantee with this, we can absolutely cross off the speed on the bingo board. Because this is speed. Like, I'm talking Lightning McQueen speed. Mr. Beast. Oh, snap. We got Mr. Beast in the chat. All right. Let's see if this has anything to do with Mr. Beast or if it's just clickbait. Ew. Wow. This song is life changing. Thank you, Mr. Beast, for joining my Geometry Dash video. Man, we're at a stalemate right now. I've been through, like, a lot of levels without getting anything. Let's see if Pixel John will come in clutch. Wait! There we go! Pixel John did come in clutch with unnamed zero. We get the free coin slot there in the middle. My Demon by Kiki Crystal. Let's see if this is actually a demon or if it's really easy. That was really easy. Concentration. I do not think that's how you spell concentration, but, uh, uh oh my god. Yeah, that's concentration, all right. Okay. All right, let's concentrate. Let's concentrate, guys. Let's all concentrate together. In case this bores you, I'll put Subway Surfers on the bottom of the screen. Oh, I did it! Shout out Subway Surfers, bro. That's an absolute goaded OG game. But not as much as Geometry Dash, because Geometry Dash is the true goat. Let's, uh, let's see. Fondo 1. Wow, planets. All right, well, the good news is, I think that would constitute as art. It's just a little art showcase. So, uh, thank you, Tex. Impossible spider. Okay. That was, <laughs> that was not very impossible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever, that was a quick one, I guess. OG Flappy Bird. Wow, this looks exactly like the original Flappy Bird. I don't know about you guys, but I can't even spot the difference. Just Two Days by Daniel DD124. Let's see what this is. Ah, oh, look at the sun. He's a gear, but he's also a sun. Oh, now he's a little sad moon. A seepy moon. He's seeping. Oh, it's awake. I died. Stupid sun. I don't care about that freaking sun, bro. Cool Thing by Galgo Donut. All right, this better be cool. Oh, wait, that actually is kind of cool. Oh, okay. So, like, if I hit those, it, like, reflects my gameplay. Wow, this is actually really creative. Oh, so I have to hit that so I could, uh, get in there. Wow, this is, like, really complex gameplay. Wow, that was actually really fun to learn how this works. This is a cool level. Galgo Donut, I quite like that, bro. I'm gonna give that the good gameplay badge, which gives me a recent tab bingo score. That was not your traditional gameplay, but that was honestly really cool. I like that. Chazel McDrizz. All right, let's check this out. Oh, can we one attempt this? Hey, we did it, but that did not give us anything. So it's a waste of my freaking time and I do not care about this level. And I'm just gonna go play something else in the recent tab so I can get a recent tab bingo because I really just wanna beat this challenge so I can make a freaking cool video. And let's play Unnamed Zero by White Ram. Uh, did, what? Bro, what? All right, hold on. Let me take this to slow mode. I wanna see if this is even possible. Dude, even in 0.5 times speed, this is still dumb hard. You have to spam so fast. Ugh. My freaking practice buttons are covering me. Practice mode is like making this harder. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna say he hacked this because that is freaking impossible. There's no way a human could verify this. I mean, somebody could feel free to prove me wrong, but yeah, here's the ID. I'd like to see somebody actually beat this. But hey, if that's not wave spam, I don't know what is. We are now one slot away from getting a bingo in three different places. Band Subtle... Yeah, Vincent Pelican. <laughs> I like that name, Vincent Pelican. That's a funny name. Wait a minute. Is it just me or is this mirror portal, like, suspiciously big? I feel like they don't get that big without the use of scale hacks. All right, Vincent Pelican. Do you have something good to offer me? 
This is the moment of truth. How big is this? So I'm gonna click the scale button, and if it's above 2.00, I'm gonna have a bingo. 3.38, look at that. That is hacked because look how far this freaking thing is out. Oops. But yeah, you saw the point. You saw that. We can officially cross off scale hack, which means we completed recent tab bingo. Finally, bro. That was a freaking long one. Holy moly. I wish I could actually beat this, but this is seriously way harder than it looks. What an episode, man. That was crazy. This may be my last video of 2.1, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in 2.2.